Okay, so here's the first system. Very simple, but just demonstrates the idea. It's nothing new that uh, you can leave a dissonance hanging for a little while, so long as you don't forget about it. Uh, here's a second line. Again, the really important thing to notice is that basically you have this sixth happening on the E and the G string and uh, that's resolving down uh, but you can play the game in a much more uh, sophisticated way if you just really keep track of you know your notes and purposefully place them on a string and avoid those strings uh, to help you punctuate the dissonances and their resolutions uh, and here's just a third little idea, the third system, which is basically the same kind of thing, but with a cooler ending. As for the exercises, the main thing is, is that you have three notes on one string, uh, and then the fourth note is on the next string, and you're moving sideways. Because uh, a lot of these things, you know, this way of thinking leads to very interesting sequencing ideas. So. sounding and kind of use a lot more hammer-ons and pulling off. Stuff like that. Uh, and as for the very last one, you'll notice it's a sixth instead of a second, uh, which is kind of hard sometimes. I might screw this up, but uh, it's a neat sound, and it's again something that can lead to very cool sequencing ideas. Mm -hmm. 